Hey everyone, what's up? Only Zbee Feet here, and today I'm just going to shoot a short live commentary on how to get Fantasy Star Online version 2, the Psychic Dreamcast version, up and running through Retro Arch's Flycast core. Now, there's a few things you're going to need before you actually hop into Retro Arch. You will need a special ISO set up for private servers called psov2live.cdi. It's actually a CDI file. This just makes your life way easier connecting to private servers. And in addition to emulation, I'd even recommend this if you use DreamPy, just because there's no disk swapping involved. You're also maybe going to need a serial number. And thanks to my friend and Fantasy Star Online guru, Game Player S, he graciously has provided unlock codes that will work with any Fantasy Star Online V2 game, which is right here. These are the ones you're going to want for the US version, the ones I'm highlighting right now. I'll put both the codes and his website in the description. His website's just awesome if you're a PSO or Sega fan, and I'd highly recommend it. Just like delete that SNAK from the URL. Now let's dive into Retro Arch. If the screen goes black a little bit and stuff, sorry, it's just my recording software, but I have a live view on me, so You'll be able to see. Don't worry. I hope. So, I'm going to open up RetroArch here. And there it is. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to set up our core. So, what you want to do is you want to hop in the online updater, go to the core updater, and we're going to want to find Sega Dreamcast. And here's the Flycast core right here. Grab that. And once you have that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to set up an internet connection. Now, you can do this through multiple games, multiple ways, web browsers, whatever. I prefer setting it up through Quake 3 just because it's the easiest. So I'm going to boot up my Quake 3 Arena Dreamcast game. And it will boot up in just a second. I got to click it again. When you actually do this yourself, it won't be any problem. So, once we get in-game here, in Quake 3 Arena, we will begin our setup. Now, I'll mention here, while this is setting up and stuff, that you do not want to do any kind of speed up hacks or anything while you're online. You're also not going to want to enter in cheat codes that give you an advantage, or you're not going to want to run this on hardware that cannot properly handle Dreamcast. This is because you're constantly syncing to a server, and if the server doesn't find that uh, you're doing something cool, it'll probably kick and ban you, and you're not going to be able to do any of this ever again. So just keep in mind before hopping online that you can run Dreamcast without issue on your Android device, on your Switch, on your PC, whatever you use. Keep that in mind. So enough rambling. Let's hop down the internet game on that main menu. And here you're going to want to enter in a username, a password, a DNS, as zero for both. Then phone number, everyone just does one 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 one. So enter that. Off off. And then bunch of ones again. And then hit dial. So it's dialing and we'll hop in to Quake 3 Arena in about 30 seconds. So again, while this is booting up, I just want to say make sure your hardware can handle Sega Dreamcast emulation and that you don't do anything funky through RetroArch. I'd also recommend disabling any shaders and stuff like that just to make sure you get that constant frame rate that's absolutely necessary if you're playing online games. Just completely necessary. So don't stress your hardware more than you have to here. So you can see I'm online now. And pro tip, uh, if you want to get down to this menu, you have to actually click a server. And then you click more, and then you get more information, and then we're, when you're ready, you can hit fight. I recommend once you're done with any online game, you go ahead and disconnect properly through the game like that. Might also want to like save your account. And that's all for now. So I'm going to back out of Quake 3, and let's hop into Fantasy Star. So I'm going to close the content. I'm going to go to PSO V2 Live, and I'm going to run it. And there, that, be that booted up beautifully without me having to do anything, which is great. So we're on the last step here, and pretty much this is not going to be hard, because the hardest part is setting it up through Quake 3. If you have problems with that, I'd recommend just checking out LibRetro's tutorial on it. I'll put it on the description below, and I'll even link it in a card 
however you do that. Because I think their tutorial is just fine for getting online through Play 3 Arena. I just wanted to briefly cover it in case you came here first. So we're going to continue here. But obviously, a new game if you do not have a PSO character yet. And find your character on the proper BMU card. By the way, if you want to use back BMU cards like this, I just want to do one more little tip for you. So we'll go in the options. And you want to go down. And you want to find something called Puro Puro Pack. Disable that. That adds rumble to all four of your controllers. But it also takes up the second BMU slot down below. Like the second row of BMUs there. So you probably don't want that unless you really like your rumble. So I recommend turning that off, it defaults to on. And other than that, if you don't see a picture for some reason, uh, set your cable type to VGA, RGB, or try another one such as maybe TV, RGB. Just mess around with cable type if you don't get picture for some reason. Or your video driver, which is, wow, this is turning into a whole retro arts tutorial. But your video driver, which mine looks to be GL. So just a couple quick trip tips. And it's fine to back out and stuff before you're actually online like I just did there. That won't affect anything. So I'm just going to redo this real quick. So choose your character or make a new one. Press online. Hit yes. This is just Sonic Team asking us to do stuff. Now pick your ISP. Your ISP should show up right here just like this as you set it up in Quake 3. If you do not see this, you should. So go back to Quake 3 and try again. Or try a web browser. I think I have one called like XDK Super Extreme Browser 4, something like that. But Quake 3 should work. So Sonic Team definitely runs these servers. So we'll connect online right now. And it'll dial just like it did with Quake 3. It'll show your number. Again, you might be able to enter anything there, but everyone just does the one. So I just recommend you do that. But if you want to be fancy, you can try and we are dialing right now. Also, pro tip, you can move this little sparkle around during loading screens. Quite fun. There is a bit of loading in Fantasy Star. So, you can try to make like a square. This isn't that hard on the keyboard, admittedly. But, yeah. So, we're online. So, what you're going to want to do is probably not worry about any of that. I mean, you can check out like the downloadable quest or whatever. Save these to your BMU. It's actually pretty nice to be able to access these right there. Patches, I don't think you need to mess around with at all. I wouldn't mess around with them at all. But you can see you can also play with GameCube people. I see a lot of people saying they want to play the GameCube one online, which you can definitely do through Dolphin on PC. But I would say, just in general, use the Dreamcast version. It'll make your life way easier. So, once you... Uh, are good with that, just hit main menu back out of there. And pick your ship. You can press X to see how many users are online at this very moment. And what do you know? We got someone new online. It was four last time I recorded, so that's cool. But pick your block like that, and then you're online. You can see I'm online in a private server. I can send something like hey, or if you wanted to like send little pictures or something, you can do that with, I believe, sign, or whatever, use the triggers or something. But I'm online through PSO, and that's how you set this up. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And yeah, I think this went pretty well. I recorded this a lot, so this is my last take on it. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments or tweet at me, whatever you need to do, Reddit me, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. But if it's internet related, please watch that LibRetro video first. So thanks for watching. This is Only Sweet Pete saying, look, mom, no hands. Thanks.